Hello everyone, this is Antonio and today I will teach you how to put in um, Asian characters such as Chinese, Japanese, Korean as well as probably any other ones maybe even Russian and Arabic as well but today we'll focus on Chinese and Japanese uh, first of all this works on any computer like such as Windows 7 and I believe uh, some of the previous operating systems as well uh, but the first thing you do is go to the the little orb thing that looks like a Windows one, that which is the Start menu, which says over there. Okay, go into here. The thing that I like to do is click on here and type in Regional Languages, and uh, that should appear. So, so yeah, just click on that, and then click on the keyboards and languages tab and then once you're there click on the change keyboards change keyboards and from there you'll see oh yeah you'll see the you'll see the languages that I have already up there installed such as Spanish and Chinese Japanese Korean and English if you want to add any of these just click on add dot 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 and uh, from there you can choose you can select the one you are looking for uh, for those of you who want to choose Japanese I suggest you to click on that the Japanese and then keyboard and then check the the options called Microsoft IME and then you click OK I already have that so that's why it's gray I'm, I'm guessing so yeah um, I have it over here and for those of you who want to add in uh, Chinese uh, pretty much what I did is went to Chinese PRC which stands for People's Republic of China and uh, here you select the Microsoft Pinyin, Pinyin ABC input style which is just select that and uh, yeah and uh, as well for the for the Korean you do the same thing as you did for the Japanese you go and find a Korean Korean yeah there we go Korean and then select the Microsoft IME and then click OK just like the in the previous other ones and then uh, once you're ready to go just click on apply or OK and it'll have it on your settings now let's give this a try let's go on Google and I don't know let's input some text let's see so let's see um, every time you want to type in some some kanji into um, every time you want to type in some kanji into anything really just click on the hiragana button and then type in the as you would in romaji like for example nihongo would be like ni and then ho h o and n for n and then uh, go for just type in go you know and then type in spacebar and you should get this yeah and then uh, yeah that pretty much works in any uh, in any web page let's see uh, as you can see as you can see they, they also have for for the hiragana as well yeah for some reason uh, sometimes it sometimes it acts uh, kind of weird oh there we go you can also type in uh, katakana uh, half width and full width I'm not an expert on that so it just I just put in the full width and uh, for example uh, any letter you type in like a it types in the katakana a if you type in uh, uh, ru it types it are you it types in the katakana are you and then like for example ba would just be b a t o just just the same as in uh, hiragana right here i spelled arubaito arubaito which means a uh, part time for part time job for any of these uh, who don't know what it means and uh, so let's move on to chinese 
Okay, Chinese. You select the the Chinese option, and uh, pretty much you you just type it in as you would in pi as if it were pinyin. Let's get the right one, the ABC style, and uh, oh, and then type it in as you would in pinyin. Oh yeah, you have to put it in. Make it look like it's this one, okay? Okay, now type in ni hao, which means hello. Ni hao ma, which means uh, hello, how are you? You know, you type it in just as you would um, uh, romaji or as you would uh, pinyin. And now as for Korean, Korean is kind of a little bit more complicated, in my opinion. Uh, let's before we do this let's let's look at a chart hold on Let, let's get this one all right okay now let's get this one uh, let's go to Google now and uh, select Korean and uh, select Microsoft IAB and just type in some Korean word you know like for example uh, let me see on oh on Yo. See. Yeah, pretty much what I was trying to trying to type was uh annyeonghaseyo, which means hello. Let's see let's see if I can get a but yeah pretty much uh you have to type it in as it corresponds with this you know like this one is uh this one is the the B sound I believe this one is the the M sound mm, mm, and NG and so on and so on and right here it tells you how to do it I think this th this is a fairly good guide fairly good and uh, for those of you who know Korean, uh, they, they, they should have an easy time uh, typing in Korean. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean text. And see you next time. Bye.